fell in love with the player. I was chasing her, but she was chasing the paper. Nah, nah. You got a bad man falling, going through hoops like Jordan. Jordan, give me one time, one time. All right, y'all, so I'm back here with Dexter. I just got him out of his cage, so he has to warm up for one. So while he warms up to us, I'm going ahead and talk to y'all. I'm just, y'all can tell the tone of my voice. I'm just real in my feelings right now because let me just give you a little backstory. So I bought Dexter back in December of last year, 2018. And he was a little, little thing. He's still little now. But ever since I got him, I had to force feed him. Like, so, and we're about to get into July. So, for damn near seven months, I had to force feed Dexter. And I'm just, I'm getting to the point where I thought that he was going to, you know, warm up to the fact of, Okay, it's time to eat. Let's just get a mouse. Boom, bam, boom. No, he wasn't eating. And I'm just like, he's getting bigger. I don't, I'm, I'm feeling more uncomfortable with force feeding him. So, me, Andrew, decided to take him back to the pet store we bought him from in exchange for a snake that is eating. Now, y'all, I know that sounds kind of messed up, but like, Y'all, he's going to die if he stay with me because I'm really uncomfortable with force feeding him. Like, y'all force feeding, opening his mouth, forcing food down his throat. You feel me? A little snake like this. Yes. Yeah, so, he's Ooh, not... look at him. He ain't never done that before. Yeah, he, he's just not an eater, so we're going to have to force feed him again. That's the first time he sniffed it, though, but... Yeah. I think that's of of size for him. Mm-hmm. All right. Showtime. Second snake I've done had, and I'm just like I didn't have to go through that with my first one, and I don't I don't really want to go through it. I just feel bad, but I rather him, you know, find another home that will actually feed him, you know, and take care of him versus me, cause force feeding him all the time, y'all. I can't. But I didn't had him for like seven months, so I I'm kind of sad, but. I feel better that he's going to live another day with somebody else, you know, and get us another snake. I don't know what we're going to name it. I don't know if it's going to be a boy and girl. I'm just in my feelings right now because I really mess with Dexter, y'all. I like Dexter a lot. Look at him. But y'all, it's just becoming a hassle, like really becoming a hassle, having to feed him every two weeks and force feed him at that. Like the live mouse, he just does not mess with. I don't watch him for three hours while the live mouse was in there and nothing. It's just nothing. And I was like, he was letting the mouse like stomp all over him. And I just didn't want the mouse to nibble on him because Dexter's so docile. Dexter's not going to do nothing, y'all. He not. So um, I just made the executive decision. We're just going to go ahead and get another one. Look at him. I'm sorry, Dexter. I wonder if other owners have, like, returned him, you know? But 
Drew's not force feeding him. I'm only one doing it. So if he was the one to help me, maybe, but it's just being by myself. So we gotta do what's best for Dexter. So say bye, you guys. Bye, Dexter. Let's see what color. It's our new one. All right, y'all, so I am back, and I have a new pet. <laughs> he kind of looks the same, but he's different. If y'all can tell, he's darker. On top of his neck, he is still shedding on his head a little bit still, so I'm going to have to help him with that. But his name is Thriller, and we got Thriller um, when we traded in Dexter. So that was like the middle of June. It's now the beginning of August. So we've had him for like a month and a half now, and he is totally totally different than thriller i mean dexter yeah i'm gonna keep getting that mixed up because they're a they're kind of the same but they're totally different y'all dexter was very very docile he just wouldn't eat on his own i had to force feed him it was just the worst and thriller he is full throttle i have several clips of him eating so i'll make sure i insert them Yeah, he is a monster, y'all. He doesn't play. When he's hungry, he is hungry. Look at him. So the lady at the animal house, she had um, two of them in there. She had a really small one, and then she had Thriller here. So <clears throat> I picked them both up. The little one, he was just a little too small for me. So I started to hold Thriller a little bit. So she was like, he's very active. And when she said that he's very active, I took that as in like, he's aggressive and boy, he is. So like, if you go to pick him up, just be a little cautious because like, like anything, they don't want to be disturbed. So he's like that, like make your presence known before you put your hand in that tank. So, um, I will definitely show y'all oh, his skin is coming up. Definitely show y'all his tank. It's a little bit different than um, Dexter's tank, but I definitely changed them all y'all because y'all told me that they didn't like that as Aspen stuff that I had put in there. So I, I did change that. Um, he still has like the little trinkets that Dexter's tank had, but this is him y'all. Let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see with my boy Thriller here. You know, we might do some mukbangs together if he act right. Right now, he being good.
made it a full year. It is now December 2019. And Thriller is still thriving. Y'all see how big he is? I mean, like, when I had just got him, he was nowhere near the size he is now. He is huge, y'all. And I'm just so excited. So, right now, um, we feed him once a week. We've been doing that since we bought him. It's been about five months, maybe four. Yeah, about five months now since we've had him and we give him one mouse like y'all seen the size he eats we give him one of those a week and he just does that but we're thinking about up in his ante of giving him like um two of those because y'all look at him or giving him like a small rat almost because he needs to start eating more so that's what we're in the business of doing us up up in his any of his food but y'all he is beautiful he does everything he needs to do um one tip i would definitely tell y'all is to make sure you handle your ball your ball python um often not all the time like make a schedule at least like twice every seven days you know you want to play with him or whatever just to get him in the mode of being played with and stuff but thriller is an amazing snake like i do miss Dexter from time to time, but y'all seen he wasn't eating. I couldn't go through that, but I'm so happy we decided to, you know, change him in and get this little sucker here. He's so cute. you like, look how, like, chocolate he is. He's dark. I live for it. Hi. Hi. That's my baby. Um... I really want, I should have measured him when I bought him, but uh, I just want to show y'all how big he is. So y'all look, he's kind of stretched out. So y'all seen that we end up changing that mold, y'all. He loves that um, coconut husk a lot. So we definitely, mm -hmm. so he's loving the coconut um, husk or whatever that stuff is. The mulch in there, a lot, the asthma stuff, he was not fooling with. So we got rid of that, and he's just been chilling. We are loving the lava. Y'all think the house he's in, the lava houses? Ugh, he loves that so much. Just make sure you put some um, moss or pepper towel down in there. Spray it every couple of, like hours if you can, if you're home. But definitely spray it every day to get that humidity in there. All right, y'all, so we made it to the end of the video. If y'all have any questions about Thriller, or any questions about the old snake Dexter, just link them down below. I will definitely answer them. But until then, I'm going to catch y'all in my next video. Peace. Say bye.